Some months ago I recorded a tutorial how I add or insert different backdrops and textures in Photoshop. Since then this video was watched almost 22,000 times in YouTube. So I think it's also a very good point now to say thank you to all of you out there interested in my tutorials. But this tutorial was in German and so many people wrote me could you do this video in English too? Yes, of course, I can. My name is Michael Schnabel and this is the tutorial how I insert backdrops or textures in Photoshop and this time in English. As you can see, we have an already retouched image here. But the portrait looks a little bit boring for me with this unicolor gray background. On the other side, this gray background or why I photograph my subjects in front of a gray background has a reason. With a gray background, it's very easy afterwards here in Photoshop to insert or add another texture or another background. The first thing we have to do is to make a loose selection of our subject. It's very easy, there are many different ways you can do it. You could use the quick selection tool. You also could use this new feature of Photoshop, the select subject feature. For this, we go to select, select subject. And then Photoshop does it, on his, does it completely on his, his own. Or on its own it selects our subject and as you can see Photoshop does a really great job here. The next thing is we go to select, select and mask, select and mask. Here I always choose the view mode overlay then the masked area is displayed in red and I prefer it this way, but you also could choose the onion skin if you like this more. Here on the left side you find five tools and we will mainly use the second one, the Refine Edges tool. You, you also can adjust uh, the, the brush here a little bit. I always choose a hardness between 40 and 50 percent and the size, yeah, the size depends on your image, of course. And then I go over all the edges with this tool. And what Photoshop does is to calculate the edges new. And so you get a better and find a selection. I think you can see this here, how it works. Yeah, and it works quite well. Okay. And in these areas I use the third tool to fix this bad selection here. Yeah, problem solved. Okay. And when you are fine with the selection Photoshop made here, then go to the output settings. Here we choose new layer with layer mask. Photoshop creates uh, a new layer then with a layer mask so that you can uh, make changes or still can make changes uh, on the selection afterwards. Okay, and this is how it looks. Yeah, looks quite well to me. Great. Uh, such minor mistakes or errors can be solved very easily here. We have the mask and then we can go over these areas and fix it here. Yeah. But we will insert a texture afterwards and I think most of these 
things will not be visible in the end. Yeah, the next step is that we insert another backdrop or texture between our two layers here, between the background layer and, and uh, our subject. And here I, I choose one of my textures, textures that I made on my own. I also sell uh, these textures in my store. This here is my Finer Textures Collection 3, the newest. Yeah, and I think this here, this texture here could work quite well for this image. And I pull this texture over my image. Now it works. Then, of course, I adopt the size of the texture to my image. Okay. Yes, that's okay. The next step is that we rasterize the layer by pressing the right mouse button. You come to this menu here and here choose rasterize layer. We don't need a smart object anymore. Next step, set this layer to soft light. Yeah, but as you can see, looks really nice already now. Next step is that we blur the background a little bit because the background is lying behind her. And as you can see, uh, areas here on the pullover are already blurred out. So this here must be blurred out even more. And for this, we go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I think this 7.4 looks quite nice for this image. That's it. We, we have a really, really nice background now. But that's not all. In the end, I often overlay the whole image with a additional texture, with an overlay texture. And in my Final Textures Collection 3, there are also three overlays. Let's try out one of them. So, here you can see these overlays. These are text, textures especially made for this purpose to overlay an image with them. And I think this greenish one could look quite well on the image. Of course, we have to adapt it so that it fits the image. Like we did this before with uh, the background texture. Then we rasterize the layer again and turn it into soft light. Okay, this looks a little bit too yellowish to me. There's too much yellow in the image. But to get rid of this yellow, we choose here this adjustment layer with a clipping mask so that it only affects the layer under the black and white adjustment layer. And look how it looks now. It looks really great. Maybe we change the opacity, go back with the opacity a little bit. Something like that looks really, really great for me. Yeah, and maybe we could desaturate the whole image a little bit. Again, with an adjustment layer, this time without the clipping mask. And then we go back here with the opacity. As far as we want, I think this here works quite well. So an opacity of 10%. And this desaturates our whole image a little bit. So, okay, we are done. I think it looks quite well.
let's have a before and after comparison at this point this is how the image looks now and this is how it looked before so i think it looks really nice now i hope you enjoyed my short tutorial and i also hope to see you again soon